नमस्कार सर नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग कैसे हैं नाइस टू हैव यू सर नाइस थैंक यू सर नाउ द स्टेज इज योर सर ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी थैंक आयशा for giving me an opportunity to talk to my uh, younger colleagues uh, i mean uh, budding doctors and other seniors and few of my patients as well as otherwise the fraternity of homeopathy and today's topic which i have chosen is about the my clinical experience in the treatment of motor neuron disease as it has been i mean uh, given in introduction that i am conducting a research work in motor neuron disease which is a very tedious job and uh, as such uh, it is considered to be an sort of incurable disease and on, uh, somehow the modern medicine does not have much to offer in this and unfortunately the patient those who go to allopathic doctors or the specialist they usually tell them their patients that this is the end of their life or perhaps because they do not have anything to offer so they give a very grim picture to the i mean patients and they say that what best we can do is we can give you some medication like relutor or reluzol or uh, injection of adivaron or stem cells these are the three things which they have to offer but unfortunately it has not given a uh, much of a relief to the patient but ever since i came to i mean uh, in the contact of the i mean these patients we started working in homeopathy and we started found, finding some good results in controlling the i mean the progression of fast progression of this i mean uh, uh, degenerative disorder called mnd and with better quality of life to the patient though i do not say that we have been able to cure the patient completely or permanently but there have been certainly the patients number of patients those who were given a time span of uh, their life to be maximum to be one year or two years they have been still alive and doing very well and they are with uh, us in uh, homeopathic treatment for the last i mean 8 to 10 years even 12 years also so that i think is a big achievement as far as the homeopathy is concerned so i will start with on this i mean topic and uh, first of all i would like to thank dr kingship also the general secretary of aisha for i mean uh, inviting me over to i mean give this my deliberation i want to share Please just turn on your slide, and I will focus it on our screen. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, you got it now. Yes, sir. Sir, if you turn on the slide, so it will be best, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Slide, uh, slide. All right. Yes, sir. uh well this is a topic i mean we've been talking about and surgeon i mean uh, homeopathic perspective since we'll be talking about the major part of the homeopathy and uh, about this disease now motor neuron disease are a group of neurological disorders that selectively affect motor neurons the cells that control voluntary muscles activity including speaking walking breathing swallowing and general movement of the body in nutshell Uh, at the certain stage the patient becomes almost like a I mean vegetable state which becomes a very threatening problem for the patient as well as to the attendants the disease came to no the notice worldwide when the celebrated scientist mr stephen hawking was diagnosed with als the most common form of 
एम एन डी इट इज अनकॉमन डिजेनेटिव डिसऑर्डर ऑफ मोटर न्यूरोन्स विच लीड्स टू द प्रोग्रेसिव पैरालिस ऑफ क्रेनियल एंड स्केलेटल मसल दी ऑनसेट इज इन सीरियस फर्स्ट सिम्टम्स मे इंक्लूड स्टम्बलिंग वीक एंड ग्रिप होट्स वॉइस क्रैम और मसल वेस्टिंग द कंडीशन इज incurable and leads to death within a few years of diagnosis generally 1 to 5 years this is what is being usually presumed and that is most commonly due to the respiratory muscle weakness and ventilatory failure in the anterior horn cell or we call it as hc resulting in lower motor neuron that is uh, i mean lmn lesions and upper motor neuron when the corticospinal tract cells are involved and motor nuclei in brain stem resulting in both upper and lower motor lesions <clears throat> whenever we talk about any disease you always try to look for the what are the causes about 90% of cases of mnd are sporadic meaning that the patient has no family history of als and the case appears to have occurred with no definite known cause genetic factors are suspected to be important in determining an individual susceptibility to uh, the disease and there is some weak evidence of suggest that onset can be triggered by as yet unknown environmental factors what happens in skeletal muscles they are innerved by a group of neurons low motor neurons located in the ventral horns of the spinal cord project out the ventral roots to the muscle cells these nerve cells are themselves innervated by the corticospinal tract of upper motor neurons that project from the motor cortex of the brain on microscopic certainly we are not going to go in for that microscopic the classical form of als that is called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis it tends to be focal in onset a particular group of muscles affected first which presents as a mixture of upper and lower motor neuron features for example with a wasted fasciculating biceps with a brisk easily obtained biceps reflex in the three recognized patterns limb onset which are by far the commonest bulbar onset is 20% of cases and respiratory onset is the least common the rarer variants of this disease can present in two ways with pure upper motor neuron features wherein it is a primary lateral sclerosis and with pure lateral motor uh, neuron features progressive muscular atrophy usually whenever we talk about a neurological disorder and i mean a, a problem normally uh, we uh, look forward that there would be a, something to do with the memory and intellectual uh, loss also fortunately or unfortunately memory and intellectual loss is not there it remains very much intact in the patients of mnd cranial nerves affecting sight and lower sacral segments of the spinal cord affecting continents are spared and varied presentation and unpredictable sometimes very rapid disease progression is the most important key feature which we have to look forward what happens in i mean progressive bulbar palsy both upper and lower motor neuron may be involved characterized by dysarthria and dysphagia and what happens how the patient presents with the lower motor neuron there is a nasal speech regurgitation of fluid via nose tongue atrophy and fasciculation pharyngeal weakness and in upper motor neuron damage there is a spasticity of the tongue explosive dysarthria emotional lability affects older women predominantly and every survival rate is 6 months to 3 years now coming to the sign and symptoms usually as per the books and i mean uh, academically we see earlier it was to be said that it is the common uh, age is from 50 to 70 but in this my i mean <clears throat> my research work of uh, and i'm nearly seen around 500 cases of so so i have seen the youngest patient of mine had been 18 years old who suffered from this so and as that i mean things are happening nowadays the classical symptoms classical thing which used to be there before are no more i mean valid nowadays as you i mean i remember the i mean the worst case of measles i saw that was a 70 years old lady whereas i mean measles was considered to be the i mean a disease of the youngsters and similarly nowadays you see the young children the newborn children or even the infants suffering from i mean diabetes as well as i mean uh, what you call cataract also 
So this is no more a criteria, age is no more a criteria nowadays. The muscle wasting, fasciculation, there's a twitching of muscle, spasticity or stiffness in the arms and legs, overactive tendon reflexes, dragging of the foot, unilateral muscle wasting in the hand, slurred speech, choking and suffocation, difficulty in swallowing, especially liquids and increased saliva. Then another thing which I've noticed, I mean, I've uh, seen in uh, off the patient, they, I mean, those who have been suffering uh, from MND for the last couple of months to a year, they develop a strange habit of laughing over the matter which are not there to be laughed at. This is something very, very uncontrollable laughter, which, I mean, I've, we have seen, and we are working on that, that homeopathy has been showing a good result on that type of thing. The diagnosis of MND is a clinical one established by a neurologist on the basis of history and neurological examination. There is no diagnostic from, I mean, a clear-cut test for MND investigations like uh, blood test, I mean, EMG, MRI, NCV, and these are the things which really help us to give the, I mean, uh, characteristic features of fasciculations or, I mean, uh, nervation of the, I mean, uh, this thing and that we come to know that they are a man patient having this problem and the most commonest feature which we find to I mean uh, diagnose MND is the progression of the problem or the symptoms fast otherwise it could be I mean uh, not necessarily a case of uh, motor neuron disease diagnosis of ALS is very difficult because ALS mimics many other neurological diseases and disorders such as multiple sclerosis spinal cord tumors or nerve compression and as i said earlier that we need to go in for emg and cv mri and sketch scan and blood routine yes of course cpk thyroid profile and what we have really come to know nowadays i mean and i've seen this number of cases which in the initial days of my practice i never saw that there had been some relationship with <coughs> mercury those patients who have had their i mean uh, uh, like uh, I mean, filling of um, tooth with the mercury, they have developed this neurological disorder. And in few cases, not in our, my case, but I've read on some I mean, in this abroad, their patient, those after taking out that particular tooth, the patient has started showing some improvement. Same is the case with we are seeing the uh, cases of uh, arsenic, copper, and lead poisoning, where these neurological disorders are coming. Uh, very rampantly and of late in the uh, last couple of five to ten years ever since we have seen that in India uh, there uh, there's a lot of I mean mixing of uh, colors in vegetables like I mean hara uh, sabji ko hara banane ke liye they use color which full of lead and otherwise those patients who have been taking that kind of a contaminated or I mean uh, uh, mixed or are artificially colored disease, they do suffer from some or the other neurological disorders. Currently, there is no cure for ALS MND. The only drug, as I said earlier, is relozole. And nowadays, I mean, uh, the latest, they have started coming with the Adaveron injections. And they give around, uh, I mean, 15 injections in one, sh I mean, go. And they need to have at least uh, six months course or six uh, cycles. With I uh, in around 500 cases, I've got only couple of handful of couple of cases where I can count on the fingertips. Those who found some good effect or at least the uh, progression had stopped. And the latest fad is stem cell, as you know, the what happens in the world when something new comes and everybody starts saying stem cell is the I mean, panacea for everything. It's a wonder thing. But stem cell so far has not shown any improvement or any positive sign in motor neuron disease cases whereas yes stem cell is very effective in I mean, uh, uh, treating other diseases what we need apart from this is physiotherapy and speech therapy should be used as, as an auxiliary treatment coming to the homeopathic part mnd is a fast progressive degenerative disease devastating illness which leads to progressive paralysis and eventual death it is considered to be an incurable disease where medical science does not have much to offer. Yet in AKG OVMs, clinic, some encouraging results have been obtained with homeopathy.
Coming to the miasmatic site, as we always talk about the chronic disease and all that, we need to look for the, I mean, uh, I mean, what are miasmatic factor. So it is basically considered to be a complex mixed meal, but predominantly falls into the syphilitic meal. Though the constitutional simulum is the dictum, but as I meant, is a fast progressing degenerative disease, remedies with regional affinity becomes equally important. Here I would like to, I mean, uh, I mean uh, definitely uh, say that I would uh, be sounding a bit different from the classical homeopathy that where they say just give the one dose of I mean uh, your uh, I mean constitutional remedy and keep on waiting and and uh, improve. So somehow I have not been able to see this kind of a result in this. So ultimately I had to resolve to this giving constitutional remedy plus regional remedies have to be put into that I mean uh, action and that has definitely shown good results. Like how the patient some men would present this you can see uh, slurred speech inability to produce tongue uh, 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 He had complete aphonia with fasciculation and wasting. He is a 75 year old man. So he had to convey and tell things while writing. And as, as I was telling that, I mean, there's a, this disease has a fast progression. You can hear that within 15 days, there's been so much of deterioration. The patient has come to this stage. You can see the wasting part and the fasciculation can also be seen. Uh, I would take come in uh, the shorter for the not the complete video because it would take a lot of time. Left you can see the fasciculation at the elbow, and sometimes the patient finds this uh, fasciculation. Uh, 24 7, which becomes very, very much annoying and difficult for the patient to live with. You can see the fasciculation on the tongue also. Now, wasting of muscles with such kind of a situation, uh, can we, I mean, uh, what can we really look into? The patient has hardly any muscles left on the body. And this is, I mean, uh, I with my, I mean, I think my there must be a few seniors of mine and uh, some good colleagues of Mahanpati uh, who are working. We would like to work on this because this is one aspect where, I mean, the wasting has occurred severely. We have not been able to really, I mean, put the mask back. We have been able to stop further wasting. But unfortunately, we have not been able to get that. I mean, uh, the muscle mass back. So this is one thing where we need to work, and it's a one open field for the all the youngsters and uh, I mean, uh, homeopaths to work on. Now, neck holding is there a problem? Uh, this particular lady, I would like to I mean uh, tell about. This is the most important case of my life. And my research work 
all started after seeing this particular patient. I was called upon to see this patient to Assam. I mean, I went there and she, if you can see there, her head gear has been tied with the chair because her neck would fall back uh, forward and she was unable to put it up. So to feed her, the pay, I mean, attendants had to, I mean, uh, put it in this particular manner, open the mouth and, uh, I mean, uh, her son would dip the cotton in the uh, vegetable or dal and just put it on the, I mean, lips, which, because she could not open her mouth also. And when I came back and I thought, okay, we'll work upon on the case and do something. And before I could send her the medicine, that lady had passed off. So that has really jittered my, me and my, I mean, whole efforts that I mean, did research work is dedicated to this lady. Now you can see in the foot drop what happens. Tendency to fall and unsteady gait. Unfortunately, what happens is the patients who suffer from motor neuron disease initially symptoms like I mean they have uh, uh, some weakness in the hand or they are unable to speak properly. There's a slurred speech, so they initially go either to the ENT surgeon, ENT doctor, or to an orthopedic, and a lot of time is being wasted or a lot of time is being passed where they could have I mean uh, uh, utilized and gone to the neurologist and got it checked up. So this is the one aspect because we, I mean, there are a lot of I mean doctors who are not well versed about this particular disease. So my idea of showing these uh, videos to all the I mean uh, doctors is this: if they see anything of such a nature, they can easily immediately start looking for the neurological side rather than looking for the orthopedic or the I mean ENT side. Now, this you to the tongue and means shriveled also. You can note down that, like, when he is speaking, he is unable to speak without a coughing bout. Continuous. <laughs> <coughs> He's not been able to speak even a one sentence without a cough box. Now, coming to the repertory analysis for the motor neuron disease, this is a very important part like where to look the symptom and where, how do we find that? By synthesis repertory, we need to, I mean, go to the extremities. We can uh, see this twitching, twitching, weakness, trembling, and dragging. These are the, I mean, areas where we can uh, look into that. And when we see this mouth salivation, mouth twitching, I mean, fortunately, in uh, homeopathy, we have got a repertoire, or it's such a big repertoire. Because in uh, modern medicine, they have got ghoom firke wohi ek dawai or aluzol, or wohi adavaron. Where here we have got with the symptoms of, I mean, uh, various symptoms with various degree and particular regional affinity. We have got certain medicines and we have uh, seen those medicines have worked wonderfully in these cases. Like we have got general atrophy, sleeplessness, and then general fall, tendency to fall. I mean, uh, now, now we, we see that there are, I mean, uh, uh, wrist drops also there. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, ankle, I mean, foot drop is there. So we have the different medicines for that too. Extremities twitching, face twitching, especially for the eye. And now this is the beauty of homeopathy. When we see that there's a patient who has got a twitching of left eye and right eye, they were the medicines are different one. 
so sometime it is very good to see that we are able to pinpoint them and right remedy with the right kind of a symptom but it becomes very difficult for the patient to understand and explain about it because he doesn't think that it has got any value or any relevance to talk about ki meri right ko hota hai left ko hota hai kab hota hai subah hota hai sham ko hota hai in murphy report he is he is given i mean uh, all these symptoms which you can uh, refer back to the i mean your own report you can see and there are i mean uh, uh, murphy is the only uh, repertory where he has given uh, in the disease chapter he has given uh, one uh, rubric is there for als amyotrophic lateral sclerosis there are a couple of mentions are there like the very common and the very useful is a bbcr if we are not able to get the symptom directly if we uh, combine them uh, i mean it needs a uh, needs a real herculean task to go in for the symptom i mean uh, uh, combining together and finding it out and then we are able to get few remedies which you would have not thought of under normal circumstances this this again i mean it's all reference work from the main repertory which you can uh, always uh, look into by robert repertory also also he has given certain things now difficulty in following most indicated used medicine which i have found i mean i am summarizing because i mean in the repertory you go there number of medicine what i have summarized try to summarize and to make i mean little handy and uh, uh, ready for use to the i mean all the friends and doctors colleagues the difficulty in following most medicines used were cost capsicum causticum gelsicumium calisanatum lecasis nitric acid and strychninum they have given a very good results choking in throat arsenic causticum calisanatum lecasis and lysine and difficulty in speaking again causticum hyoscyamus calisanatum lecasis and merk specific groups of medicine effective for particular aspects of mnd at ekg zone tendency to fall most indicated remedies are causticum ferum gels lyco natremur phosphorus acid uh, phosphoric acid rustox and zincum difficulty in holding neck as we i mean uh, seen in that particular case of that lady where the head gear was i mean uh, tied to her head and uh, was pulled back and tied with the i mean uh, uh, over the back of the chair the calcarea force gelsium and calisanatum and increased salivation haliburus lysin Merk and Cephalinum. Weakness of limbs: Arnica, Arsenic, Brania, Causticum, Curare, Gelsinium, Lathyrus, Rustox, and Strychnine. And foot drop again: Causticum, Natremur, Plumbum, Rustox, Zincum. And dragging the limb while walking: Conium, Lacasis, Lathyrus, Plumbum, Rustox, and Sickle. Emaciation. This is the one part where I've been, I mean, uh, uh, not been able to get a much success. Although we have been able to curtail, but we have not been able to revert back. Is a calcarea iod, calcarea force, causticum iod, lacasis, lyco, natremur, scanum, sulfur. Regurgitation of food is aurum, carbolic acid, carbovage, causticum, mercor, acid muriaticum, and gait dis distorted, agaricus, alum. Conium, gelsium, lathyrus, picric acid, rustox, strychnine, and zincum, and twitching in fasciculation, agaricus, gels, hyoscyamus, lysin, minianthus, phosphoric acid, plumbum, strychnine, tarantula, and zincum. Now coming to the cases, these are these are but long long cases where we have to I mean because uh, as I said that I mean uh, the patient who had been suffering from this disease for quite some time. and there was a weakness in the left hand with inability to strengthen the fingers for 2 3 years tendency to fall backwards always now these are the symptoms which are important the tendency to fall backward always unable to walk without support imbalance weakness in both legs slurring of the voice dryness of the tongue difficulty in swallowing anything with choking in the throat trembling of the tongue with the sensation of sand on tongue severe constipation and had non bleeding piles loss of weight emaciation and these these were the all symptoms and with the history of this like she had got spinal anesthesia gynecopsy there 
I am coming to the actual point of, I mean, uh, uh, the like this mental genres, of course, which are important for us. Like, I mean, we, you can see that the comp, uh, desire for company, a uh, very emotional, very sympathetic, weak, easily conscientious, very commanding earlier, non-fulfilled ambition, wanted to be a writer, an inferiority complex about disease and herself, can't bear contradiction, brooding, enjoys water, and is work better at seashore, fastidious fault finding, and. Uh, I mean, you'll be surprised that I mean, after thinking, I've been mean, uh, giving all the medicines and all that. What, what? Ultimately, I found out that this particular lady had got, I mean, just uh, the water. She said, "Unke gharo toh ye machli hai. Pani, jaise pani machli ke liye pani important hai, waise inke liye important hai." And that was the one thing which had really, I mean, uh, made me think over to give the medicine. And I was not. Thinking and expecting, but it really did wonder about it. During these, I mean, I mean all these medicines were given, and follow up was uh, there uh, with the certain improvement in certain things. Backache uh, improved, and and the best part was sleep. I mean, she used to sleep in a sitting position always. She was not in a position to lie down, and uh, she had to be. Carried on by on the back of her uh, son to move here and there. This patient came to us already diagnosed with MND since uh, one year and had taken all the conventional treatment with no relief. In fact, her condition was gradually deteriorating. Her family was told that she would not survive more than one year. But with homeopathy, she not only survived for a much longer period of two and a half years, but her quality of life was also improved by a great deal. She improved in almost all her complaints. But in the end stages, started facing problems with her speech again, with profound weakness. Few days later, I got a call that she died of cardiac arrest. Now this was another case. I mean, uh, of uh, Mrs. Arora, uh, difficulty in speaking has to strain to speak since seven eight months. Choking in throat with suffocation, worse draft of air, difficulty in swallowing even in drinking water, excessive salivation. And one thing which I mean, uh, I'm uh, in, uh, coming in between that lately these are the initial days of my, I mean cases when we are taking a these are the cases where we are I mean uh, uh, presenting. But what I have come across now that all out of these 500 cases, a majority of number of cases are from a very high position people, those who are either principals, those who are in politics. Those who have been in police department, those who have been professors, or they've been teachers, but they, every one of them, had suffered some kind of anguish in the past history. Either they were wrong, like I mean, somebody was put an I mean uh, uh, false allegation on him about uh, a robbery or about something about uh, in the I mean in the I mean what you call uh, partnership that the some bungling was there which he never did. So. And in certain cases, the patient principal were let down because their, I mean, uh, juniors were given a uh, higher post, or they were promoted, or I mean, they were feel to feel low in such part or some injustice. This is very, very important from homeopathic point of view because earlier, when initially I was taking about the case, we were talking about um, considering about more of the physical aspect of the problems. But gradually, ever and ever since I started doing more and more work on that, so we found that this invariably is a feature which comes in. And to start with, I have found these, I mean, like medicines like Ignatia, Staphylococcus, and all that has really helped to open up a case also. Uh, past history, she had, I mean, thyroid also, and we had endometriosis. Uh, during the course of one year of treatment, these were the medicines used: lecithin, gelsim, rubinia, causticum, calisanatum, asafrida, acetic acid, rostox, muxol, and strychnine. As I told you that, I mean, uh, uh, in these type of cases, what happens is normally once the patient has been going on the one particular symptom which, which the patient has been feeling very bad, you give I mean some medication at that time, that particular start becoming I mean all right, or just some other part. Or some other aspect starts coming up uh, on the surface, so the patient need to be attended for his or her present illness, despite of giving a deep-acting constitutional remedy. 
because if the acute problem of the patient is not been attended they feel very very bad and that they, the kind of a confidence which is they have been building up they start losing the reason being because they have always got in their mind that it is a incurable disease and from coming from an allopathic hand that there is no treatment at all so there we need to give us i mean prompt relief to the any uh, symptom which come uh, in between uh the her fasciculation was completely gone she started to eat in between as well for a long time her neck holding was much better and indeed no support but later she was not eating well so her family took her to the hospital where her tracheostomy was done the doctor was amazed that a procedure like tracheostomy that should have been done much earlier could be delayed and avoided as far as 8 10 months with homeopathy so this is what i was just trying to the uh, telling the scope of homeopathy where homeopathy has been able to help the patient in different ways this is another case difficulty in lifting a uh, leg has to drag it to the walk flooding of speech in 6 months difficulty in getting up history of complaints that patient had a fall on the left side due to imbalance in 2008 since then he gradually started feeling weak in his left leg and it became difficult to lift the leg up as a result he used to drag his left foot while walking gradually the speech also started deteriorating since 6 7 months there is a lot of slurring and patient had to strain a lot of to speak speech had become slow low in volume and inarticulate slurring worsened as the day progressed he also started complaining of choking in the throat and because earlier cases we could not have the record of the i mean uh, uh, we did not have the i mean facility of recording the videos so from i mean later on cases yes we've been keeping our, i mean uh, video recording and all that that's what we've been uh, sharing over here with the pet ct relatively decreased tracker i mean uh, tracer uptake noted in uh, the sensory motor cortex and nc normal study of both motor and sensory system all all drugs were exaggerated on examination he had a physical generous desire for tea mental generous were like very jolly in nature but became irritable since being diagnosed with mnd weeping tendency his mnd feel helpless about his dd feels insecure sensitive emotional the rubrics taken were like this a mind company cheerful a weeping this is from a mind general stomach and repertoire result was talisha lycopodium natremur nasomica they were coming like that this was the i mean uh, repertoire analysis and this was the patient which i showed you in the beginning uh, earlier that the kaise lagta hai aapko bolte hain jaam lagta hai good rahe good rahe jaam ho jate and this patient came to me 10th of i mean july or 2010 when the patient was given the expectancy of 1 to 2 years by the hospital i mean uh, uh, here in delhi we got uh, uh, gb panth hospital from there the neurologist said i mean given him the time maximum one of two years of survival on october 9 bolo choking stiffness is lesser speech difficult and suffocation mein aapko jo matlab i mean wo morning aur evening pe kya farak aata hai चोकिंग रिड्यूस एंड बिफोर restlessness also reduced fasciculation have started appearing in the leg felicia vanam one that was given on november felicia vanam with calisanatum choking had reduced coughing has lessened anxiety with palpitation speech slurred in 2011 i mean when he had i mean uh, uti complaint of cystitis cantharis 30 was given on alternate days with calisanatum and this was on 20th of december <laughs> नहीं बोला गया हमेशा हमेशा ऐसा रहता है कभी कभी ठीक बोला जाता है ज्यादातर ठीक बोला जाता है या नहीं नहीं और सुबह उठ के 
سیمنٹ کے کمپیریٹری ٹھیک ہوتا اچھا اور آپ کی وہ جو فیسیکولیشن ہے وہ فرقن ختم ہے بالکل On March 2011, much uh, speech better, much more un- understandable. He developed the tendency to fall forward at times, complained the fasciculation at times. Alicia was repeated. On this, I mean, he had a slight problem with the, I mean, in the uh, legs and all that, the stocks was given with Zinkum met. And uh, in uh, June 2011, Sally Shivanam was given again. This is again a very important important aspect when we say that the patient is not deteriorating further or at least he has been stable. So to make the patient stable is also a very big achievement for homeopathy because the, the, the deterioration which has been there right from beginning and if you could see from the uh, first uh, I mean, uh, video uh, about the speech and there was a time when he had lost his speech completely and he could always I mean, uh, to communicate, he had to write down with the, I mean, on the paper and uh, with the pens and uh, this thing to communicate with his, I mean, family members, which he, after the, I mean, continuous homeopathic medication, he regained the speech, though the voice was a bit nasal, but uh, he could very well communicate. There was no need of, I mean, using the pen and pencil and all that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he had become completely all right as far as his speech, choking and all that. During that particular time of Diwali, when there was a, I mean, little this thing, pollution and all that, he got that, I mean, uh, triggered his, his cough and bouts. Fasciculations. <laughs> Now, this was in 2016. Overall improved, nearly cured, lost voice, restored, stable in, I mean, uh, gait, imbalance reduced, no more choking, swallowing, okay, gained weight, happily alive and enjoying life even after about six years against I mean, one time was maximum one to two years of life. He and uh, I mean, let me share you with you. I'm very happy to tell you that today is 2020 and he is still alive and I mean, normal. Now he is, though he has stopped the medicine because he has shifted from I mean, this place to far off to where he could not carry on with the medicine. But as and when I mean, he talks about, he feels much relieved and overall better. 
overall patient and the family member feel that homeopathy has helped them a great deal uh, not only in arresting the further progression of degeneration but also has got good improvement in various symptoms and in quality of life and as on date mr i mean uh, we are still off with homeopathic treatment now successfully showing good improvement day by day and one thing here i would like to tell you again something very important that this patient i after 3 years of i mean continuing with me when he was normal i asked you to visit this i mean uh, uh, gb pant hospital again and the doctor who saw him who had given him the time for uh, time span of life to one and a half to two years maximum he was very happy to see him and that i mean uh, it's uh, uh, by god's grace and unfortunately this is the point which i want to discuss and is a very very important that when he said that i am taking homeopathic treatment i am better with that and that doctor he said jab allopathy mein ilaaj to homeopathy mein ilaaj kaise ho sakta now this is the point where i want that i mean our fraternity should work together and look forward that people should take it in the perspective of the efficacy of homeopathy rather than keeping any one i mean uh, prejudice mind ki like jo nahi ho saka to allopathy mein nahi to homeopathy mein bhi nahi ho sakta aisa nahi hai ye yeah, and this is a complete i mean uh, 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 case of this which we can if you want we can see it on the i mean uh, youtube also this contact this is there some useful medicine for motor neuron disease are agaricus because if the time is not i mean uh, permitting much so we'll go on arsenic album uh, i would like to add, i mean uh, discuss about few uncommon uh, medicines which are, uh, are the rare normal these remedies you have been seeing causticum and uh, this uh, cupramet you know is aspartame cramps jalsimum you know weakness and trembling with that the another uh, hydrastis is one weak muscular with power and emaciation dull heavy dragging pain and stiffness particularly across lumbar region must use arm in raising himself from the seat feel suffocating when lying on left side salivation and hockey and the most important part i have used this hydrastis in the patient those uh, who get a lot of salivation with a choking in the throat as uh, there the thick viscid saliva which they are able, unable to i mean uh, bring it out their hydrastis and kalibaik has helped to a greater extent like this is one i mean uh, remedy where the choking i mean is there where the suffocation is there and where uh, the i mean Uh, uh the difficulty in swallowing especially the liquids is a very common feature and lecithin has helped it uh lecithin again you all know it's a mean uh, for hypersensitivity as well as the I mean uh, salivation mercsol nafsomica again going in through this I mean uh, what you call uh, constitutional form and all that yes the another part which i am thing in many of the patient now that what bothers them what bothers them is that they have become dependent on their family members now this is the one uh, mental uh, symptom which we are finding uh, coming very prominently though it seems to be very common not very unusual ki agar kisi koi banda aadmi pura theek thaak hai suddenly usko उसको हर चीज पे डिपेंड होना पड़ता है तो उसको डिपेंडेंट की प्रॉब्लम महसूस होती है बट फियर ऑफ बिकमिंग डिपेंडेंट और डिल्यूजन दैट ही बिकमिंग डिपेंडेंट ऑन द डिल्यूजन ही हैज लॉस्ट हिज इंडिपेंडेंस एंड एज इफ ही हैज बिकम द बर्डन दोस हु आर वर्किंग ओनली ऑन मेंटल सिम्टम्स एंड आई मीन लुकिंग सो दीज आर द आई मीन फ्यू एरिया वेयर वी कैन सी that those medicines has help like refinis is the one remedy which i found like when he feels that i mean he become burden on the other patients and uh, like i mean uh, uh, he losing independence or the coccolus indica that he wants be more concerned about ki main main dusron ko takleef de raha hu this happens in most of the, quite a good number of patients so there we can find i mean certain uh, remedies like this and on the other hand there have been couple of patients who have been very very particular about their being looked after they are not being looked after properly because earlier they had been very dominating and now they feel they have been losing their uh, grip they are losing their dominance 
दैट अदर पीपल आर बिकमिंग डोमिनेट ऑन हिम बिकॉज जब मैं पहले एक आवाज पे आ जाता तो अब क्योंकि उसकी आवाज नहीं निकल पाती तो उसको दो तीन चार बार ही बोलना पड़ता और जो अटेंडेंट है वो दूर है तो ही इज नॉट बीन आई मीन गिवन द थिंग विच ही वॉन्ट्स विद इन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड तो ही बिकम्स मोर इरिटेटेड एंड बिकम मोर एजुटेटेड तो दे आर ऑल्सो वी हैव फाउंड सर्टेन रेमिडीज लाइक नक्सोमिका एंड अदर थिंग दे हैव हेल्प टू अ ग्रेटर डील uh well i mean a depression part is there it's a very like i mean uh, talking about the reference produced pain in stitches uh liver and spleen increases bile salivary secretion great accumulation in in uh in concentration of flatulence but the feeling which i said is typically that he is becoming dependent which he does not like in another feature which has been found very effectively in this restoxil again very good remedy where we see the extreme restlessness of the i mean lower extremities the patient does not find uh, the bed to be comfortable in any position there is a lameness and uh, stiffness paralyzed paralysis with numbness of affected parts loss of power in forearm and fingers crawling sensation in the tips of fingers ciflinum is again one medicine which i have intercurrently have given and found it has again uh, given up a new start to the patient with a fresh symptomatology zincomet is very good some uncommon but very useful remedies are curare where we have got a muscular paralysis paralysis of respiratory muscles reflex action threatened paralysis of respiration on falling asleep short dry cough very distressing dyspnea arms weak and heavy cannot lift the fingers legs tremble gives way in walking and works at the right side there is a lot of provokes which i mean cough which been provoked by vomiting which provokes vomiting and which is followed by fainting and there is a feeling of chest as if there is a pressure or soreness on that guaco is another remedy acts on the nervous system with for bulbar palsy tongue heaviness and difficult to move spinal irritation larynx and trachea constricted difficult deglutition pain pain between scapulae extending to the forearm burning in the nape of shoulders pain along with the spine weirdness through hips and lumbar region and paralysis of lower extremities kali cyanatum as you know, all know it is a potassium cyanide which is i mean uh, uh, when people talk about homeopathic remedy has no effect i mean it's a placebo and when people say it is uh, i mean uh, does, does not have any medicinal value and ask them to i mean see the difference of potassium cyanide as a crude and potassium cyanide or the calicyanatum in the dynamic form after being potentization and otherwise so the patient uh, people who cannot see the taste of potassium cyanide and homeopathy is beautifully elicited the symptoms of kali cyanatum and it is uh, it is a one of the very good remedy for uh, difficult speech power of speech loss but intelligence intact and it is one of the very good remedy for the tongue cancer also cough prevents sleep respiration weak cannot take deep breath i have wherever i mean uh, the patient who says like i mean uh, uh, the people who argue about the uh, i mean uh, the, the how the medicines are made when we tell them that i mean these are made from i mean uh, uh, mainly, mainly from herbal side mineral side and even the poisons also like i mean this thing so they sometimes they do wonder if the poison is there how can you come I and give the medicine the beauty of that i mean homeopathic medicine is there when it is been dynamized it does not contain any of the poisonous substance to the level which can cause Have been a proper poison to that particular patient. The thyrus is also one as a one of the very good remedy where reflex is always increased with the lateral sclerosis. Excessive rigidity of the leg is the main part. Gluteal muscles and lower limbs emaciated, and toes do not leave the floor. Heels do not touch the floor. And if you see that, I mean, in couple of uh, videos, the patient those who been walking or the sitting, they I mean, uh, did I uh, mean fall dump sit. I uh, mean, us pe baithte hain. they are not able to uh, sit in a proper manner
Meninthus is again a very good remedy, twitching with fidget, uh, urinary dif uh, difficulty in women, icy coldness of the hands, weakness and emaciation of the thinner and hypothinner muscles, cramp like pain. As soon as patient lies down, their legs jerk and twitch. Oxytropis is one of the another very, I mean, uh, uh, uncommon but very commonly used in my practice is marked action on nervous system, trembling sensation of emptiness, walks backwards, congestion of spine and paralysis, pains come and go quickly, but muscles remain sore. There is a staggering gait, reflexes are lost, there is a desire to be alone with mental depression, worse thinking of symptom. There's a feeling of numbness about the spine, loss of coordination in the patellar tendon reflexes are lost, restlessness, sleep with dreams of quarrel. Strychnum is also a, a remedy which uh, has shown good results. I mean, as you might have seen in uh, uh, the case of paralysis and all that, its primary function is to stimulate the motor centers and the reflexive action of the spinal cord. Strychnine stimulates the CNS, mental activity, special senses rendered more acute stiffness in the muscle and face and neck muscle re uh, relaxes between paroxysm suddenly and uh, return at the intervals over irritability spasm of the muscles about larynx excessive dyspnea persistent cough and recurring uh, uh, i mean influenza rigidity of cervical muscles stiffness of the back are the i mean couple of uh, symptoms which you uh, have seen in strychnine now, this is a, I mean, I'm taking a few cases uh, with the, because you can't take up the detail of the cases. I'm just showing, I mean, uh, the initial part. This was on 23rd of June. The patient was on ventilator support. I had was called upon to see the patient at PD, PGI Chandigarh. The first, this, this particular, I mean, video is in the Chandigarh, PGI. And please note down there's a continuous movement of her jaw and her eyes are stuck to one place she's staring at one of the side And this was on. Mama? Mama? This is on 9th of October. I had uh, the patient was discharged from the hospital and she stayed in Ludhiana. So I was called upon to see the patient in Ludhiana. She is at home. Please watch her movement, the continuous uh, movement of the jaw, which she was there is no more there now. She is absolutely able to control her jaw muscles. And now see the, I mean, the, uh, what she has gained, she has been able to gain the, I mean, movement of her eyes, which was lost initially. There's a constant movement of the I mean, uh, uh, finger also, which will also stop. How about uh, 
Now, this was a case where fasciculation uh, had reduced by 75% and the remedy uh, uh, used was arsenic album. No, again, this is the point. The, as I said in the very beginning, it is a fast progressing degenerative disorder. We have been able to curtail the further progression of the degeneration. Though we have not been able to, I mean, make the patient completely healthy and, I mean, uh, uh, recover to the normalcy, but the progression has stopped completely and there have been a quality of life has improved and the associated symptoms have been improving to a greater extent, which is definitely a big achievement from a homeopathic point of view. Of view. Uh, in this case, swelling improved, choking better. Now, get up. हां बोलने में आराम है मतलब पहले मैं कंगा कंगा मतलब जो है साफ आवाज नहीं निकलती थी मेरी उसमें भी कुछ आराम है मतलब कुछ साफ समझ में दूसरों के आता है वो जो खाते हुए में दिक्कत है खाते हुए में दिक्कत है यहां पे लगता हुआ तेरा भी किस किस चीज में पहले से बेटर है पहले अटकता जाता था अब थोड़ा रिलैक्स है टंग में जो स्टिफनेस और वो थी उसके ऊपर हां जो हैवीनेस थी वो अब इतना नहीं है काफी नो दिस वाज अ टिपिकल केस वेयर क्यूरारी हैड गिवन अ आई मीन ब्यूटीफुल रिजल्ट्स ठीक है his right thumb used to was getting involuntarily thrown back, but after taking homeopathic treatment, the thumb is absolutely still now, and there are no physical issues. Abhi, after taking this homeopathic medicine, how are you feeling now? No, she is a one case who came to me from Bangladesh. She is a Bangladeshi lady. That patient uh, says that she feels energetic uh, in general and her energy is good. Energy is good. Energy Energy is good. 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 This is a very important case where I mean the patient had a, I mean uh, uh, lost completely the strength of the hands and fingers. He could not even open his uh, uh, this mobile phone and could not, I mean, uh, do this. And after, I mean, uh, he was being uh, treated initially at the Ames, and where they had given that, I mean, uh, this Zalotor is the only thing, and this is uh, you might have to go and for stem cell. And they were in touch with, the, uh, I mean, uh, All Institute of Medical Sciences daily. So we, I mean, sent the patient again back. To the uh, aims to I mean uh, see their uh, progress. So mm -hmm. there, there they had been saying mm -hmm. that there is no further deterioration. Their case is stable, so which itself is a very big achievement. Again, which in, according to them, there been there is a complete regular loss. 
बात इसकी और इसको ताकि इसको भी भी विकेटेड ने प्रॉपर इनका जो 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 ऑलरेडी शूटर रोल रहा है अच्छा उन्होंने ये कहा है कि अभी जो इनका जो लास्ट ईयर से अब तक जो स्ट्रेंथ है वो बिल्कुल उतनी ही है लास्ट ईयर इनकी फाइट बाय फाइट थी और अभी वो स्ट्रेंथ उतनी आई है बट जो इनके जितने उनको कहा कि इनको चलने में थोड़ी सी ये प्रॉब्लम बता रहे हैं तो उन्होंने कहा कि स्टिफनेस आ चुकी है तो वो इसकी वजह से भी हो सकती है डिजीज की वजह से भी थोड़ा अगर ये फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज करेंगे अपनी उसको एक्टिविटीज को बढ़ाएंगे तो इससे उनको रिलीफ मिलेगा और जो आप ट्रीटमेंट ले रहे हैं जो हमने कहा होम्योपैथिक ट्रीटमेंट ही ले रहे हैं तो फिर खुद वो इनको वो मेडिकेशन इनको सूट कर रही है अभी आपने वो जो कोई भी नहीं हमने कहा एलोपैथी डाइट पे है और प्लस ले रहे हैं दिस पेशेंट वॉज टोटल इंसिडेंटली दो द केस वेन वी टॉक्ट अबाउट द पेशेंट ऑफ जी बी पंथ हॉस्पिटल द डॉक्टर रिफ्यूज टू एक्नोलेज टी एफ ऑफ होम्योपैथी At least in this particular hospital, Ames Royal Institute of Medical Sciences, they they might have not said something good about it, Hamidpati, but they did say, I mean, uh, the uh, disease has been checked; it has been under control. There is no further deterioration in the one year, and so you may please carry on with the, I mean, the treatment which you've been uh, already carrying. Uh, How much time? I mean, we do have uh, Dr. Kinshut. हाँ अच्छा है मतलब news आह आह नोटे अपना आलावा जान लीजिए इधर में हाँ नहीं पहले the patient the tongue got stuck she was unable to move the tongue now now which she is able to come in uh, do the movement. नहीं मतलब जो पहले से और अपने क्या चेंज लग रहा है कुछ पहले नाक में जो भर जाता था नेकर टैक करती है हाल का अंदर से लगता हूँ नहीं और कान भी चोक नहीं होता अच्छा तो पहले जो था कि प्रायर जो है नेजल वॉइस चोकिंग काफिंग इज रिड्यूस इन अर्लियर मेंटली फील्स फ्रेश एंड इज नो मोर वेट लॉस पहले जैसा वो वॉइस नीचे चला गया था वॉइस अभी तो पहले से क्लियर है और वेट जैसा पहले काफी ड्रॉप हो गया था मेंटली भी बहुत डिस्टर्ब हो गया था तो अभी वो वो चिंता तो चला गया मेंटली मैंने मैं पहले से काफी स्ट्रॉन्ग हुआ हूँ और मोर इम्पोर्टेंट ये है कि थोड़ा बहुत वेट गेन हुआ है पहले मेरा जैसा सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट वन किलोज हो गया था जब मैं आपके पास पहला बार आया था वो एंड जनवरी में तो अभी एक किलो बढ़ा है अभी सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू हुआ है तो ये डेफिनेट मेरे so these are these are the few parameters which we need to see the, that there is no further weight loss and if there is a further gain gain weight gain is there it's a very good sign the patient some mental i mean faculties are better at the uh, depression part has gone so we have been able to with homeopathy we have been able to improve the quality of life for that particular patients also and i mean of course in few cases the life expectancy also अभी ज़्यादा कम कम हो गया है है ठीक अच्छा और जो ताकत का earlier he was losing weight regularly Down but ever since we started with homeopathy there has been no more weight loss come hua hai
Uh, despite no cure, homeopathy has ensured respite to many patients from this dreadful disease. Let us put our best efforts to bring an end to the MNT. Thank you very much for giving your patient headache. I hope uh, you, I mean, uh, got some idea about the, I mean, uh, motor neuron disease and how it has been working uh, with homeopathy and uh, what role homeopathy has to play, this you can understand very well now. Thank you, sir. That was a brilliant webinar session we had on MND, then motor neuron diseases. And so basically, Mm. We were very grateful to have this topic and we are going to do some Q&A sessions. We have sure. two or three questions from our uh, viewers. First, I will uh, I will present it on screen. Just check it out. The first mm -hmm. question is from Dr. Ramana Reddy. Patient walks only backside. Please explain. That he is not able to go forward, but Certain patients, they are able to make the backward movement. As there are patients, especially of osteoarthritis and all that, where we tell them as an exercise to walk backward, to I mean, feel uh, comfortable and as, a, as an exercise. But in the patient here, the, when they uh, have certain patients, the tendency to fall backward, wherever they, I mean, uh, uh, you make them stand, even with the support, they try to, I mean, uh, uh, fall back. And he goes able to move the back rather than put himself into the forward. Okay, sir. So uh, that I hope, Doctor. Oh, um, I hope Doctor Ramana Reddy has got her, her answer. So our next question is from Doctor Abdul Hamid. He is asking, sir, explain hemiplegia case. Uh, well, hemiplegia case could be uh, in a different manner. He or she may not be, I mean, having uh, this uh, uh, motor neuron disease. Like motor neuron disease patients, they, I mean, uh, in a way, go paralytic almost in everything. Hemiplegia, when you have a patient, is going on the, the half side of the, I mean, uh, this thing, uh, body has gone paralytic. That's what you call it in hemiplegia. It could be the left side, it could be the right side, or it could be the upper or lower side also. And which could happen because of other and uh, many reasons. There could there could be a tumor, there could be, I mean, a compression, discompression, and all that, but not necessarily having a, a motor neuron disease where the motor, I mean, motor nerves have been come in uh, affecting. This may not be the uh, case. It could be the a simple case of paralysis because of other reasons it could be because of a kind of a stroke could be could be because of i mean injury because of uh, some i mean uh, tumor bone tumor and all that those things can be there okay sir so that was it and we have no more question i hope dr abdul hamid has got his answer so there are a lot of uh, thank you uh, thank you comments you can see on the screen thank you. and so thanks a lot uh, that's uh, so with this let me summarize today's session to you viewers so today we learned about what is motor neuron disease or in short we call it mnd what are the types of it what are the signs and symptoms and also the homeopathic approach to mnds also some uh, we have seen some patient case takings by sir for better understanding of mnds a repertorial study of motor neuron diseases, mental and physical generalities with investigations, follow-ups of some patients, some chief complaints and history of those complaints, and some patient feedbacks. So, and also some useful medicine for curing MNDs as suggested by Sir. 
so now i would like to thank professor uh, dr ak gupta sir to come and join us with this webinar and i hope you also like our webinar uh, you also appreciated our webinar thank you very much it was nice indeed and i hope that <laughs> i am in uh, uh, been able to do justice to your, your call <laughs> obviously sir yeah sir thank you thank you sir so it's now for time of vote it's time for vote again i would like to thank you again sir professor sir for joining with us also i want to thank my associate members dr kaushik de dr kingshuk goswami dr jitendra sahu joyiti pal sandhya and zia khan so with this i end today's webinar session if you want to if you would like to get e participation certificate do fill up the form given in the description um e participation certificate would be provided to you on email as soon as possible depending on the number of responses we get and finally if you like this video do give it a like with your and also share with this with your fellow mates and do subscribe us by clicking on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell in order to get update on future webinars thank you for watching till the end and with this see you on the next webinar until then good night and peace from all india homeopathic students youth and youth association